Welcome to Straight Talk. Bye. Welcome to Straight Talk No Chaser. I'm your host, Miranda Carlos. In today's show, we will stir up controversial topics that most men and women don't like to talk about. We'll hear both sides of the story. The group of ladies, being Mariah and Carla. Hey. hey. How you guys doing? Fine. Good. And our guys being Reed and Ulysses. What's up, guys? Cracking. Doing good? All right, let's get started. All right, so our first topic is going to be the perfect partner. Does age really matter? And do opposites really attract? Is that really true? I'm going to start off with the ladies. How about you, Mariah? I think age does matter um, because they say women are four years older than men mentally. So I feel like if you're 20 and you're dating somebody that's like 19 or 21, you know, your mature level is, you know, you're more mature than the men. Mm -hmm. So I feel like a woman should always date higher. Like I'm 22, so they tell me I should be dating a 26 year old. You know, that's good. So that's good. How I feel. Guys, you guys read. Um, I don't know if that's always true. Honestly, I think like sometimes messing with a younger guy might benefit you. Oh. It might, you know, what I mean, enhance your life. You know, not it's not it's not fact that a girl's mind is just four years more mature than a guy because I've, I've been around some chicks all right i've been <laughs> around some chicks i'm 27 uh my current girlfriend's like 27 as well but i've been with younger chicks and they've been wild as well so it didn't really matter so does the young wild thing kind of like it's exciting to the relationship no so younger adds to it or a older woman adds to it I don't, you know, like, everyone says, like, age is where you got to be mature at. I felt like I was mature at 16. Like, I mean, f people can turn that on and turn that off at times. So it depends. Like, you got to be able to balance it out. Okay. Ulysses, you want to add to that? Uh, no, I think you got everything. Got it, Carla. Okay, so how about when it comes to both personalities? Should men be masculine in a relationship, like being strong, confident, the guy picking up the check? And should women be feminine, being that kind of submissive role? I'm going to go back to the ladies on that, Carla. I totally agree. I feel like men, if they're wanting to be in a relationship, they need to step up to the plate because even though women are mature and you know they're more independent but the men they got to step up because nowadays men are just you know douchebags in my opinion they really don't care about being in a relationship and they're not stepping up to the plate right. prior to being in a relationship okay and what's stepping up stepping up as in you know if you're older and you know you let's say you're 20 years old you know you go to college you're working and everything okay if you want to be in a relationship don't act like a little kid because nowadays men are acting like little kids mm -hmm. and in order to step that up for a woman even to impress a woman you know you just gotta maintain you know smelling good you gotta make sure that you as an individual you have to be more to yourself and to, to yourself. yourself as in you need to know when you're ready to be committing to a relationship. Okay. And, guys, I want to kind of get you guys on the same topic with uh, masculine and feminine. How do you guys feel about that? I mean, it, wor it works both ways, all right? Girls have to, like, in a relationship, you know, usually you'll find a situation where a guy has to be more dominant than the girl. The girl has to be more dominant than the guy for the situation to work. But I feel like it has to be even. Like, I think both groups, guys and girls, both have to be in school. Both have to get their stuff taken care of. True. Girls are immature as well. It's not like all guys are douchebags. Some girls are douchebags as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's just, it, it is what it is. You know, I've been in relationships where a girl thought she was in complete control of the situation and she wanted to be a jerk and stuff like that, which was fine for her. But now she has like four kids from three different dudes. Do you Good guys luck. think that the whole masculine, feminine thing goes on society and what society wants us to kind of, you know, fit into women in the kitchen and guys at work? Like when you say get the check, like I feel like this. I feel like first dates, yeah, the man should get the check. You know, mm -hmm. that's how I feel. But I feel like if you and this guy are building, then, you know, you should pick up the check one day. Like, you know, oh, let me get this, you know. I think, like, people just expect a man to take care, take care, but a woman has to also do the same thing, like, a woman has to let a man be a man, and a man has to let a woman be a woman, you know? Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Ulysses, you want to add to that? Uh, well, the thing about it is, like, uh, like you said, like, uh, with the masculine thing, mm -hmm. guys I, masculine. I do believe uh, that a man should, like Carla said, step it up, mm -hmm. because it is our responsibility, like, um, uh, to treat a girl right, 
like if I was gonna like take a a, a young girl out to dinner, mm -hmm. I would like pull out her like I'm very old school, I'm very old traditional. School, traditional. I take out the chair, uh, like I, I pay for a check. Like I, I like when you're out on a date with a young lady, you mm -hmm. have to treat her as a princess because mm -hmm. that's exactly what she is. Oh, <laughs> look at the ladies on this side. And you, you actually <laughs> you actually brushed up on the topic I was gonna get into next, which is traditional values. I'm gonna actually get one on each person the traditional values. Mariah, what's one traditional value that you want a guy to have? Um, I have to say, uh, know which side of the street you're supposed to walk on. No, it's, oh, okay. That's important. Like, my dad taught me that when I was, like, little. Like, he's like, no, you you get on the, you know. On the, the street inside, side, yeah. On the street side. That's important because that makes me know that you love me and you care for me because you're trying to protect me. That's true, yeah. Carla, one traditional value? I think when it comes to being in a relationship to make sure you're communicative, um, the reason why I say that is because guys, some guys that I've dated in the past, they tend to not communicate with me. Yes. So, just being communicative in general. Communication really would be one thing. Yes. Okay, and Ulysses? Um, well, one quality uh, is uh, being, well, like uh, Carla said, like being, uh, have a good communication. Because, good uh, communication as and well. And being honest as well. That's like okay. the foundation of a strong relationship. All right, and then Reed? Man, 100% is being faithful. Like, being faithful. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> You, you have to be faithful in a relationship. Once there's one one situation pops off where someone cheats on somebody, that's it. Because there's been situations I've been in where I haven't let it go. Still don't let it go. Still talk about it to this day. So you got to be faithful. That's what I think. You got to be faithful, loyal, communication, all those sum up into. Okay, so we have those. What about opposites attract? We kind of brushed up at, on that at the beginning, but opposites attract. How do you guys really feel about that? That's true. Like, me and my child's father we're like totally opposite like i'm party he's chill you know chill, okay. like you know like but it we balance each other he's more responsible i'm a little not responsible but we check each other like you know you guys have to have that yeah. yin and yang yeah. so you believe in the opposites attract yeah. type of theory yeah. okay and carla i totally agree with opposite attract because you know um let me apply it to my date life um, I've been in situations where the guy is just so, like, muted. And, like, he kind of puts himself, like, what am I doing in the relationship kind of thing. So, you know, it's just for me and I'm the type that I check on a person when I'm dating them. So I do believe in opposite attract. Opposites yeah. attract. Okay, back to the guys. Opposites attract. How you guys feel about that? Whoever like to go first? Uh, it's like, again, it's 50-50. It's two different ways. Because sometimes you'll, like, for example, with the example uh, Mariah gave, uh, she likes a party. Dude likes to chill. There's going to be a point where dudes are like, yo, can you calm down? Like, can you chill out? You feel me? And, like, me, like, it, it works out for me sometimes in the same way. Because what I do with radio and everything like that, I'm always trying to go to an event or try to be here or be there. But then my girlfriend is always at home. She's taking care of the baby, and then she starts getting mad because she's not doing nothing. Like, well, do find something to do. Like, you feel me? Like, okay. You need. All right, so we're actually going to sum that up, and we're going to get into a really interesting topic after this. So we'll be right back soon with more of Straight Talk No Chaser. $5. Nowadays, you can't really do much with it. It's not as valuable as it was in the old days, where you can buy a lot of things and still have some change left over. Sure, you can still buy some junk food here and there, and some other things, if you're lucky. What if I told you there was a website where $5 can get you all kinds of things? Welcome to Fiverr.com, the world's largest marketplace for services and goods, starting at only $5. With Fiverr, there's a plethora of things $5 can get you. Fringe from custom gift cards, someone making a commercial for you. Maybe you'd like someone to draw you a Simpsons character, make you a business card or logo, Proofread your essay, advertise your website, write a song for you, or even pose as your girlfriend on Facebook. Fiverr's got it all. From tame and innocent to creepy and bizarre. You can even access Fiverr directly from your smartphone. Fiverr.com. Sign up for free today. All right, welcome back to our hot debate. Let's get into our second conversation, but this time let's get a little bit more personal. Our second topic is going to be who has it better, men or women? Now that topic can actually be turned into a lot of things, so I'm going to start you guys off. 
whose life is easier, men or women? I started off with the ladies before the break, so I'm going to actually start with the guys this time. Uh, well, in, that question is kind of, uh, well, I feel in my, and I feel that each, each a man and a woman's life is, is not easier, but each is the same. Because, uh, like, women, are like, like uh, for example, my mom, she does everything. Mm -hmm. She does the cooking, the cleaning. She works until, like, 8. And mm -hmm. the same thing with uh, my, uh, my, uh, my father. So I really don't think, like, both of their lives are easy. Mm -hmm. But with, when they're together, it's just, like, it makes everything worthwhile. Mm -hmm. I like your answers. And then Reed? Once again, back to, like, it, it, it all depends on the situation. Like, it depends on how what type of job they're doing. Like, if... If someone's working in media or entertainment nine times out of ten, it's going to be a little bit easier for a girl because they're going to look at the girl, they're going to see a pretty girl, they're going to want to engage in that conversation. Mm -hmm. They see a guy like me come up like, yo, I want to, you know, talk to you about this. And be like, whoa, wait a minute. But then same thing is, like, girls have to deal with childbirth. They have to deal with, you know, being at home a lot, dealing with the kids. They have to deal with trying to take care of the home. And sometimes it's the dad in that type of role. So it all it all depends on what the actual situation is. And, and how, you're coming like, from yeah. experience with yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Being. Absolutely, for oh. real. <laughs> for okay, and then the ladies on this side, mm -hmm. men having it easier, women having it easier. How do you feel about I feel that? Like we have it, like they have it easier. I don't know because I'm a mother and like I go to school, I work, I have to clean the house. Like I clean it all by myself. I have to wash clothes, iron his clothes, get him ready. You know, then we're emotional at that, <laughs> and it's like real. you feel me. We're going through emotional stuff all the time, and I gotta deal with all this. Then I gotta iron. Guys you know, just don't know. Cook. Huh? I gotta cook. <laughs> like I'm sorry. We just have. It's just really like stressful. So your basically your statement is guys. But have I think they have it worse in like the work field and things like that. Like. I feel like, especially for black men, it's really hard for them in society. Like, mm. so yeah, but women, it's a lot. Women have it hard at I'm home. I said it's a lot to be a woman. It takes a lot. It and takes a lot. Is. That's true. Okay, Carly, you want to add to that? I agree with Ulysses. Ulysses, uh, okay. Ulysses, sorry about that. That's good. Second like pr pronunciation, but I agree with them. I feel like men and women. I think it depends on the situation. On the specific yes. si situation, okay. So then, just rolling off from that, um, anything that men are not allowed to do that women are allowed to do, and vice versa, women are allowed to do that men aren't allowed to do. If I said that right, vice versa. Okay, <laughs> boom. We sleep around. <laughs> we some whores. Mm -hmm. They sleep around like it's a mag daddy and stuff like that. And I just feel like that's not right. You know? Like they get to do more stuff than we get to do. So you're saying guys are able to do more promiscuous things that would be not frowned upon like women yeah that's where you're going off i see yeah. the guys kind of leaning over to me really yeah. all right you guys want to add to that i see you guys kind of leaning well, in yeah that, 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 <laughs> that's how that's how society sees things like they'll see a girl running around messing with like four or five different dudes and she's bopping you know what i mean but you know it's it works in different ways like it does like trust me it does like yes, a girl man. like if we were in the grocery store right now and a girl walked down the aisle she smacked a dude in the butt Dude, not, nothing's gonna happen. He's not gonna but if out. I walk down the aisle and I see a girl, I smack her, but it's all bad. <laughs> like, all bad. Yeah, yeah. Ulysses, you had any moments like that? Or you want to add to that where. Oh, no, I thought. I think Reed got it all. Reed got, got it. it. <laughs> Reed Ree got it. Mm. So basically, we kind of agree how, like, it's just women can kind of not go into that kind of role like that. Okay. So then what about marriage? Marriage is a strong topic. So is it. Is marriage, the term marriage, easier for a woman or easier for a guy when it comes to that marriage? Woman. We're made, like my mama said, we're made for that, you know? Yeah. We're made we're, for marriage? We're, we're like, that's our thing. We just want to get married. I mean, well, not, most women, not, like, everybody has their own thing, but, mm -hmm. you know, mostly a woman wants to have kids, wants to get married. It's more easier for a woman to want to get married. You know, guys are kind of, like, chill on it sometimes. Commitment you know? issues, maybe? I, I agree with commitment issues. I think, maybe. Um, because as a little girl, every girl dreams of, you know, when they have their Barbie doll, they dream of Ken wearing a white, white gown, you know, planning the most luxurious party. And, you know, as us, as we grow up, it's like, okay, we want a fat rock on our finger. So <laughs> we expect the men to, you know... But guys Get could be, place. like, in the back of their mind thinking, okay, I don't want to show, I don't want to show weakness, but they probably think in the back of their mind, okay, I do want to yeah. get married are one you, day, all that. Guys. Yeah, maybe 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Dudes ain't like that no more. Dudes don't have a problem with getting married. Like, girls are the first ones to rush to want to get married, but then ultimately, you know, turn out to be the first ones to want to jump out of it. 
Mm, you know what I mean? But then all of a sudden, once all hell breaks loose and they need something, then they come back. Then they want to be in that situation again. Then they want to be in that relationship. More detailed, then, though. Like, an example, what do you mean by that? Like, a girl wants to get married. Mm-hmm. You guys get married. You both get married. You both come to the agreement that you're going to get married. You start having kids. You start, you know, you, you start your life off. A couple years goes down. The, a couple years go down the line. Sometimes guys even run from the situation, mm-hmm. but a lot of times girls do as well, and they want to break up and they want to wild out and have their mid thirties uh, party time. And it, party. yeah, trust me, I, I see people right now excited about that. All they right. have their mid mid thirties party time. <laughs> they start running off, wilding out, and all of a sudden now they need to come back. Now they want to come back because if everything's a little bit different, it's. it's so the bottom line is basically it all depends on the situation, all depends on the person, all depends on the personality. But I actually want to thank you guys for tuning in to our show today. I'm your host, Miranda Carlos, and you can catch up next time for another episode of Straight Talk No Chaser. Hit me. You can call me 507 <laughs>